Hello everybody, this is Naomi. I'm here today to show you my journal that I've just completed using the uh, Industrial Grunge uh, kit from Nonstop Paper Crafts. Uh, if you're interested in this once you see it, uh, you're more than welcome to go over to Nonstop Paper Crafts, join our group on Facebook, and you can also go to Etsy at Nonstop Paper Crafts and buy the kit. Beautiful kit. Okay, this is her cover page. As you see, I've used some of it for punches. I try to use as every bit of the kit as possible. So, go into that. Here is my journal. Uh, I showed you how I did the cover, the, the front of the cover. The rest of it I did off where you could, you know, I figured it would take too long, but the next journal that I'm fixing to do, which is going to be a steampunk, it's going to be step by step. So, I just punched some hose in here, ran some chains through it, decorated it. Same on the side. And then there is also chain on the back. This piece here is not part of the kit. It's from another uh, designer. But I cut this out and then put this image in behind it to make it look like it was coming through the book. And then I added some maroon lace here. Okay, so we're going to open her up. And this chain here is held with an eyepiece so that you can, you know, use it like a, an eyepiece to look at like a, um, a magnifying glass. And then these are just more charms that I've hung inside, decorated. We have a card here that I've made. And then you pull this out. And you have an image inside plus the back. This journal has a lot of journaling space. So you'll be have to be able to, to um, journal. And I put this picture here. And then there's a, this folds up like this. It's a pot, it's an envelope. And then this pulls out. And then it's a tag on a tag with a closure. And you can write on both tags. Then you just slide it back in here like this. Fold her back over. You can even write on here. You can write past here. So there's a lot of journaling space. Let me get you back where you can see. And then on this page, this was an envelope that I had gotten in the mail, and I decorated it. This image here is not part of the kit, and I made a card. And I made it look like he's holding this clock. So this goes back in here like this. And then I'll have to slide it down so you can see because it is a, another flip up. And it's just a writing space with plenty of writing space here. And these are just some pages that I had. And I didn't do anything with this image. I really like this image so I didn't want to cover it up. So we flip it over and then I made this envelope. And it is magnetic. So you flip it up this way, flip it down this way, there's an image here, flip it out this way, there's tags here, tags on this side, there's tags on this side, and then all the little tags here in the middle. And all of these came with the kit. And then you can journal all over this. And then I just put some more paper in. 
Um, and then I made a pocket here using one of the cam cameras. And then this is the image actually that is on the front of the book. But I wanted a good size journaling card. So I made that into a journaling card. And then this was part of the kit and I just said, well, we'll use it as a journaling card. Put it in here. Here's some more of that paper. And I laughed a lot of this because it's perfect writing space. Same here. And then over here, here's another pocket. And I made a bookmark, which is here. And you can write on the bookmark if you decide to. And then made this out of a tag. And then used this little tag. And over here, I didn't do anything really to this page because I didn't want the ladies covered up. But there was a little blank spot here. So I added this measuring tape and this little character here. And I locked the rest. And over here, I made a belly band. Another journaling card. This is not part of the kit. Uh, this image here isn't either, but I, it just went with it, in my opinion. And then another uh, pocket. These are journaling cards with see-through windows. More journaling space. And this is a, another sack that I made, as you can see. And then I just made a pocket with it put these little characters on the front and then made another pocket here here's another tag another page here's another pocket here's another tag that's a see-through tag and then over here I didn't really do anything with this one Flap this page, made, uh, put a pocket here, put three tags, and then you flip it over. Sorry about that, my husband come in. Okay, and then this is a CD holder, and it has, uh, please tell me that didn't accidentally glue down. Hold on. Okay. Sorry about that. It did glue down just a little bit. But this pulls out. And then you have these lady images. But on the front of it, I took a piece of vellum. That has the silver splatters on it. And you could just kind of make them out in it. Then underneath there's a pocket and then I added two of these corsets that I thought went pretty good with this. And then these just go in here like that and that flips back over and then these here I made. Um, these were all oval shaped pictures so I just took and cut me out an oval shape put them in front. Put them behind and then put a backing over them. Okay, and the next page. Now this, <laughs> this is a file folder that came with the kit. Well, I kind of made it into, what the, What do they call them? Um, oh, I'm not even sure what they're called. Um, I want to do all the flips and flops. Okay, you open it up like this. Okay, and it has a pocket here with the card, and then I put a dangly in the middle, and then this goes here, and then same over here, just another pocket, and then this, I've got to slide it down for you, this flips up with another pocket here. 
This one flips up with another pocket here. Then you have, uh, I wish I could get my camera to go like I want it. Okay, let me see if I can get, do it this way. There we go. Okay, now this one has a pocket as well. And it flips down. My desk just ain't big enough. It flips down with another pocket. Same over here. Just a pocket and tag. It flips down with another pocket and tag. And I use this gentleman here on my uh, Wells tail. There's another card. Okay, and then this here, I made a pocket and it opens up with a journaling card on the inside. And then this just tucks back underneath there like that. Flips out. This one here does the same thing. Opens up with a tag on the inside. And then this just slides back up underneath the key head. And then this flips out. And the image is, it looks like everybody's standing around waiting on the train to come in. But you move the man's head up here, and there's a journaling card inside with another one of those image. And that folds down. And then this one over here folds out too with another journaling cord. And then it just slides back in like so. Come on, come on. Get past that little lip. Now, all of these just fold back in, fold up, fold back down. And then whenever you shut it, there's the back image. And this is my second uh, signature. So I put a pocket on it with a journaling card. And then I just put this number here. And then I didn't do anything with this page. Put some more writing page in. Here is another flip up. with a journaling card inside. And then I left this blank so it can be wrote on or whatever. And then flip this over here. Put in another pocket here with another corset. And I added these keys to the top. And I added this paper and then this railroad. And I'll put this gentleman like he works for the railroad or whatever with a um, tool. And over here, more writing space. And here you have a pocket with an envelope. And I didn't put anything in the envelope. And you flip this out. And you got a couple of tags that go in here like this with more writing space here and that just flips back flip it over more writing space another tag and then here is another card that I made and that goes there and then this is just a flip up with a journaling card and I made that card and she goes in here. And then this is just a journaling page. And then uh, these uh, pockets here. And I put these in. And this is a pocket with a uh, bank receipt. And 
it goes in here. And there are some things in this kit that did not come with the kit, like this didn't. Um, I was running out of images, so that's why I've got other things in here. And then flip it over, and I just made a three pull out tag. And you can journal on two of them. It goes like that. And then more journaling space. And I put another pocket over here and made a identity card. And I just did some stamping in here. I used these two tags. Come on. Whoop. And I just dropped that. Oh, I have to get it in a minute. Nope. Here it is. Okay, sorry about that. And then this this slides back in here. And then flip it over. And then I've got double pockets here. With another one of those that I made. And then I used another girl. And then I put this tag in over the top. And you see her in the background. And then here's this. And then here's another tag that I made. And then here's this page with a tag as well. Come on, go back in. Okay, so. It's a little snug, but anyways, there it is. Oop, and it looks like one of my chains has come loose. I'll have to fix that. But there is the overall look at my industrial gun grunge journal. So if you like my video, hit the like and subscribe. And I already have this video, this journal sewed. Um, a gentleman that my daughter was talking to the other day. She showed him pictures of it, and he offered to buy it Johnny on the spot. But like I told him, I, did, I wasn't completely done with it. So now it's completed, and it'll be going to its new home here pretty soon. So thank you, and I hope everyone has a happy and blessed day. Thank you.